does one need a Tony 0.95 lens in their life? So that I would say define need. Do I need to have fun? Do I need to have sex? There's a lot of things I could go without if I wanted to, but what kind of life is that? Not one I would want to live. We got a 0 0.95, 45 mil equiv. Let's review her. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. Here's the closest focusing distance. There's that. How's the ton it? How's that ton it? Oh, little pigeons of hope. I have a yellow fire hydrant in the frame symbolizing the color difference between our families and our machines. He's wearing a mask. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, I oppositely focused the wrong way. I'm tracking him. So we got a Laowa 45 mil Tony 0.95 lens. It's similar to the 35 mil I reviewed a couple months ago. Just as heavy, just as big. You'll never guess what I focused on to get this shot. Not that, something way over there. I find this lens is best used to establish our relationship with leading lines and how they appear in everyday society, leaving plenty of headroom and taking up somebody's parking space. You want the 17% chance that I'm in focus is why I choose Laowa lens to vlog personally. The tone is 0 0.95. I gotta tell you, like, it's so big and heavy. And there's some compromises to that, like the closest focusing distance is, I believe, 300 yards, something like that. Like, it's not a macro lens. I don't know, man. When you get really far away, though, there's this 3D just separation, and you can't replicate it with anything else. You couldn't get this on a Micro Four Thirds camera. I'm sorry, little boys. Sorry, little boys. Would you use it to vlog? I do, just because it's so stable, the footage. And I find that my eye is always in perfect focus. No matter what level my eye... Oh! I kicked the tripod. You know what I would love to see from Lao is just a wider lens that's super fast. I wonder if physics prevents that from happening. Like a 24mm 1.2 or 0.95 if you get to handle it. Or even wider than that, 18mm 0.95. I could have fun. I definitely didn't focus on a toilet and then pan up to hide it. I wouldn't do that. I'm in focus by my own means. It's none of your business how I imagine it did. In this shot, I managed to contrast the green bush with Sony's green skin tones, which complement each other in a juxtapositioned-like fashion. Lao, you've done it again. All right, let's go to the park, see if we can find a wolf. It will likely just be squirrel content Oh, he, he social distanced my ass. I thought there was, oh boy, I set up that whole shot to fake a scene of conflict. These are blueberries, by the way.
let's see what kind of sharpness we got. We're wide open now, toning 0.95, focused on this angelic being of the night. We just stop it on down here. 1.2, we still focused? Feels like we're not even close. Let me punch in, get it right on the eye. There it is. Oh, there it is. All right, 1.4. There we have that. Tony 2. We're Tony 2 in our way through life. Tony 2.8. Are we sharpening up at all? Let me change that focus. Oh, that's good times. Tony 4. Oh, as Sony compensates with the brightness. That is fantastic. 5.6. Now we're sharp. We're as sharp as a tack. This is what tests are based off. 28. Forget about it, you know what I mean? Alright, max. Tony 16. Diffraction blessing our hearts. This is actually similar to the Noct. The Nikon's 58mm. Not really that close. I'm pretty far off, actually. But we're getting there. It should look very, almost identical, I'm imagining. Maybe slight attack, less sharp. Just attack, but do we still have separation? Not a lot of squirrels here. It's snowing. Is your lens waterproof? No. I do believe it is. I'm pretty confident. I'm half confident. It's hard to gauge that focal plane. I think because it is so soft, wide open. Oh man, but that's why you buy a lens like this to shoot wide open. And if you can't, what's the point? Here's at 1.4. It's probably pretty sharp, except that snowflake that just landed on the lens. It's a respectable effort. I can't imagine wanting to use this lens very often, but you got to admit it gives you a look that you just can't replicate elsewhere. It's not bad for what it is. It's pretty cheap. It's, just, it's heavy, cheap, soft in a pleasing way, and three-dimensional. Don't mind those odds. Do you mind them? No, you don't, do you? No, you don't. Oh, God. Monkey strength. So we look forward to a nice wide lens, 18 to 24. Tony 1.2-ish. You don't have to go all the way to the 0.95. Sharp, wide open, light as a feather, auto-focusing. At least give me contacts so I could use Sony Catalyst Browse or something. But yeah, uh, that focus throw is a little long. It's a long one. It's tough to get the squirrel action. You know what I mean? I'm gonna go. What do you think? Are you purchasing this through my affiliate links? Available to you at any time. Down below. I believe you are. And thank you for doing it. Oh, I'm out of the shot. Oh, man. Subscribe for more videos. I'll see you in the next one. I'm tonne. Camera's still there. I'm still Tunna. Oh, the Tunna is in us all. Really? If you think of it. Why not just turn? Why not just walk towards that ice path? Am I in the shot? I could be. This looks wet and cold. I'm about to hit it. Thankfully, I didn't manage to hit that ice patch. I managed to avoid it pretty much. That's, that's significant for my foot health later on. <laughs> she ruined my shot.